every moment I live, I am more and more aware of my great need of your salvation, my great need of Christ. And Lord, as I am here, I am aware that all men are dust. But Lord, we've set our hope in you. And the truth is this, I am a Southern Baptist, and the great majority of Southern Baptists are lost. You have a deadly, deadly inoculation that has numbed you and keeps the gospel from you so that you cannot feel the truth. You cannot sense the truth. You have been convinced that it is okay with you. You have cultural Christianity that deadens the heart and yet sends more men to hell than the most wicked brothel or tavern in this town. You are the one. You're the one with the ailment. You're the one with the disease. You're the one with the sickness. You have just enough religion to damn you. Most of the people sitting here tonight, at one time in your life, you repeated the sinner's prayer. You asked Jesus to come into your heart, and then some preacher told you that was good enough. And you've lived your life with no desire for God, no desire for holiness, no desire for serving Him or anything of the sort, but you're okay. And if I were to knock on your door tomorrow and begin to witness to you, you would tell me, Preacher, don't worry about me. I'm okay. I already did that. As though Jesus Christ were a flu shot, some impersonal serum that you receive into your bloodstream that keeps you from hell. And that is so wrong. Nowhere in the scripture does it say, do you want to go to heaven? And if so, repeat this prayer after me. Nowhere. But all throughout scripture, it says the way of salvation is through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. Acknowledging our sin, acknowledging our need, acknowledging that there is absolutely nothing in us to merit heaven or reconciliation with God and throwing ourselves upon Christ. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Now, spend the rest of your life repenting and believing the good news. You see, so many people today in America, they say, well, I repented. The question is, are you still repenting? Because if you are not still repenting, you didn't repent then. Because he who began a good work and you will finish it. Is your life marked by increasing knowledge of God's will and greater and greater brokenness over your disobedience? The true Christian, his life is marked by a continuous repentance and a growing repentance throughout all the days of his life. And his life is marked by increasing and increasing dependence upon the grace of God in Jesus Christ. How do you know that you are a Christian? How do you know that you have saving faith? Test yourself to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourselves. Or do you not recognize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you unless indeed you fail the test? You need to test your lives, examine your lives in the light of Scripture to determine whether or not you truly are believers because there are many of you here who are not. Look at some of you. I see you. You're as nonchalant as though you were watching a movie. And you don't know that your very destiny may be determined tonight. And you may spend an eternity in hell while you sit back there in that comfortable pew and know not that God is reaching out to you.